When you see this icon, pause the presentation, restart when you're ready. The East Gaul National 5 Gaelic Learners course was developed with the help of the following bodies. Mahéloch, my family, talking about your family. Mahéloch. Unchéloch, the family, is an important subject. Unchéloch. And here are some basic family uh, member vocabulary. Ahar, father. Ahar. Maher, mother. Maher. Shener, grandfather. Shener, literally Shen Ahar, old father. Shenever, grandmother. Shenever, literally Shen Bahar, an old mother. Granny, also. Then Brahar, brother. Brahar. Brahar big, wee brother. Brahar more, big brother. And there are two ways to say that you have two brothers. You can say Da Brahar. Or Jeez Vraren. Da Brahar. Jeez Vraren. Three Brahren. Truer Vraren. Three Brahren. Truer Vraren. You'll notice that the um, plural doesn't really start with the first set of numbers until three. Pure, pure Vic. Pure Vor. Sister, pure Vic. We sister. Pure vor, big sister. Da fjur, jish ferichen. Da fjur, jish ferichen. Tri perichen. Trur ferichen. Tri perichen. Trur ferichen. So there, see, we'll discuss why those numbers are slightly different later on in this lesson. Now, if you have a step Member of the family, you can just put the word les in front of it. Les vrahar, step brother. Les vrahar. And you unite by adding an H in writing and changing the sound in speech. Also, the word mac, son. Mac. Nian, daughter. Nian. Then there's oa, a grandchild of any description. Oa. That's where we get the O in Irish names, O'Neill, uh, for example, O'Brien, that's in the grandchild of Neil, the grandchild of Brian, instead of Mac Neil, for example, the son of Neil. And then we also have the word clown, children, clown, where we also get the word clan from, clown Lloyd, clan MacDonald, clown. That's a collective noun. So we talked a lot about onation over the last few lessons, so let's look a little bit what that means. Uh, onation is also sometimes called aspiration, and that's when a constant sound changes and becomes softer. Onation occurs at various points in Gaelic for various reasons, such as showing relationships, uh, gender, or the effect of a preposition. And this is usually shown by the addition of an H in writing after the consonant. In Geriston, but owns a Geriston. In Geriston, Alze Gerestan. Fort William, in Fort William. In Gerestan, Alze Gerestan. G, from G to G. However, there are some consonants that do not unite at all. They don't change their sound to spelling. And that's the letter combinations of SG, ST, SP, and SM. Sk, st, sp, and sm. So, in skull, the school, but alz and skull. In the school, Alan's in school. And there are three constants which do change their sound slightly, but don't change their spelling. Lois, but Hamidol a Yelwis. Yelwis, Hamidol a Yelwis. And there are some native speakers who get quite hit up by this change because many learners can't quite pick up on that subtle sound. But don't worry at the moment if you uh, don't pick up that sound at the moment. You do have to remember that there's no nothing in writing when you write uh, words meaning L, N, or R. Lewis, Hamidon, Elewis. Now, vowels by their very nature can't write because they're already softened, although sometimes other things happen with them. But you'll see what happens through some of the examples in this lesson and others. And here's a slide really just showing you which ones on it. Um, and we'll go through some of the sounds that occur. B becomes V. K 
becomes ch, de, or da, can become ga, or yug, ga, yug, if you remember that sound, um, broad and slender vowels. Uh, F becomes completely silent, it just comes he. <laughs> G can become gav, g, or with the slender vowels, ye, yev. So gav or yev. M becomes v, p becomes f. Uh, words which begin sr, sn, sl, s, plus a vowel, they become h. Literally, the s disappears and just comes a h. And the same thing applies with t, and as you've seen many sentences already, ha. That's the same as in ha. It's just a h sound. Uh, Unite. L becomes y, y becomes y, n becomes y, and r becomes her. Uh, it's hard to really pick out, but don't worry about it too much. And there's no addition for SG, ST, SM, and SP, as we said. So um, that's what we do. And again, there's no addition for a, e, i, o, or u, a, e, i, o, u. The vowels do not change. So that's it. The L and R one, when you're writing, you don't need to put an H in. That's pretty much what you've got to pick up from that section. So, the reason that we're looking at are what we call possessive pronouns. We already know the pronouns. Me, u, e, e, shin, shiv, eid. Me, you, him, her. Uh, us, use them. Me, u, e, e, shin, shiv, eid. But what we're going to look at today is the Gaelic for my, you, his, and her. And they are mo, do, a, and a. So for things that are really close to you and important to you, for example, like your family, we hope, you use mo or me with vowels to state my and do or de with vowels to state your. Now use this with family members, body parts and other things which are very important and irreplaceable. And uh, we're going to look here. So if you look at for my, you would say mo vahir, mahir, mo virahir, mo fjur, mo hener, mo henever. You'll notice the lenition going on all the way through there, except for the vowel, mahar. With your it's do vahar, dahar, do vrahar, do fjur, do hener, and do henever. Uh, it's always very hard for a teacher when they're teaching the first and second person because when they model, the, who are they modeling for? Are they modeling for the people or are they talking about themselves? But anyway, there's mo and do. They, they, they react in the same way and they cause the same thing to happen. Uh, the Gaelic for his is a, and it's evahir, ahir, evrahir, a fewer, a hener, a henever. So you notice it works like mo and do. But you also notice a slight difficulty. The Gaelic for her is also a. But if you notice, it doesn't one out. A mahir, a hahir, a brahir, a pure, a shener, a shenever. And you'll notice. This subtle thing with father that because a and the word begins with a to differentiate a doesn't actually have a, a possessive pronoun in front of it for his father but for her father you have a so anyway just going through that you could perhaps want to replay that slide to get some of those pronunciations but you'll notice that mo do and a for his all the night and a for her does not so it turns late write the following in gaelic pay attention to listen and spelling and you can go through there, so make sure you do that. And you can pause the slide, and once you're done, you can move on to the next slide where the answers are. So here's the Fregerstin. Mo vahir, mo vrahir, mo fjúr, dahir, da fjúr, mo vak, e vak, oa, a ahir, e mahir, ahir, mahir. So remember, his doesn't have a doesn't appear if it's a word beginning with a vowel. Now, the Gaelic for a wife is Ben. Uh, the Gaelic for a mountain is Bain. You may have heard of Ben Nevis, but it's very, very important not to refer to your wife as a Bain, a, mount, a mountain. Uh, ben is the Gaelic for wife, but the Gaelic for a husband is Dunya. Uh, but what you see here is Mo Ven for my wife, but for some reason you never see Mo Hunya. It's usually Indunya Akam, the man I have. So the poor husbands of this world are not as uh, cherished, perhaps, uh, as they cherish their wives. But however, uh, anything else that's kind of related to uh, 
relationships in that way is usually used with mo. Mo chéile, my partner. Mo chéile, my partner. Chéile, partner. Mo chéile, my partner. <coughs> Bramer is a, a kind of modern word for a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Mo vramer, my boy or my girlfriend. Um, mo yannan, my darling. Mo yannan, very famous in Gaelic run rig songs. Mo yannan, my darling. Mo hrún, my dear. Mo hrún, my dear. And metal, my treasure. These are nice little, um, little endearments that you can say to those closest to you. Metal. Uh, talking about general uh, relationship words as well, uh, adjectives. Hashin pasta, we're married. Hashin pasta, pasta is the guy for marry, ma married. Pasta, hashin pasta. Hami chalichche, I'm divorced. Hami chalichche, I'm divorced. And hami singlechche, I'm single. Hami. Single A thing um, what we have is be fakeable. Now there is one little thing here again um, that a nian akam would be my daughter, but munian would be my girl, as in a uh, uh, Motown type my girl. A nian akam, my daughter, munian, my girlfriend. So that's just something to be wary of. Um, it's, it's a slight implication. You would, it's not people would pick up on context. You would hope, but that's it. So a uh, very good little page to go on to. Uh, this difference between mo or akam, uh, I think called inalienable versus alienable, and these are same things that are super. So if you go to the website ackerbelts.org, it's quite dense, but I find it a very good informative source in Gaelic language questions, um, written in quite an inimitable style, and uh, they have a very good page explaining why we use mo for some things and akam for others. And you'll see the link there uh, in the in the link. And mostly it boils down to how close or, or important things are to you. And the followings uh, at the bottom here, there's little bullet points, a little non-comprehensive list of things which we'll usually take more do. So it's mostly blood relatives, serious or close friends. So you would say mo carriage, my friend, instead of and carriage akam. Uh, body parts, which we'll come to in another lesson. Uh, opinions, clothes, pets, heritage, history home and your name and mind. So, uh, if you use the corrective form of the possessive pronoun, so you can use mo, so either use mo or me, depending on, of course, what's supposed to happen. Make sure you're right where possible. And then look up what the word means in the dictionary. So this will be a little vocabulary builder for you. We always recommend uh, any, there's many good dictionaries. Uh, you can use online ones. Um, teach Yourself Gaelic's, uh, Teach Yourself's uh, Essential Gaelic Dictionary by uh, is a very useful one as well and tends to be the one that schools use in exams. But if you look here, here's some words, I'll just read them out for you. Brickish, Gia, Enim, Sporan, At, Clu, Dachi, Koua, Kjaun, Stron, Enchen, Dui, Bea, and Molig. So if you want to try uh, use the notes from the previous slides, try and do these ones with Mo and Me and a uh, pause it and move on to the next slide when you're ready. So, Falche Arash, here's the Fregerston, the answers. Movrikish, Moia, Menem, Mosporan, Mat, Mochlu, Mogachi, Mochoa, Mochaun, Mohron, Mainchen, Mogui, Movea, Movolog. Now, uncles and aunties, the Gaelic for uncle is uncle, Gaelic for auntie is auntie. So, my auntie, uncle, uh, my uncle, uncle, my auntie, auntie. And the more traditional way to say it, though, is to state the exact family relationship. Now, if you notice here, there's a slight change in the spelling, and that'll affect the pronunciation. So, your uncle on your father's side would be brahar mahar. Your uncle on your mother's side, brahar mavahar. Your sister, your uncle on your father's side, pure mahar. And your auntie on your mother's side, pure mavahar. And for uncles and aunties by marriage, you can take this form as well, ben brahar mahar, eh, and the husband of my mother's sister, and dunye a pure mavahar. Worth trying to learn this, it will help you with structures later on down the line, but at the moment you might just want to use munkal and manti. But for a little bit of fun, you can do this one. Kohasho, who is this? Can you work out the relationship? Um, so pause this one and see how you get on. 
Fadja Rash, uh, here's the answers for that previous slide. You might want to pause it and just get on with it. Okay, Fadja Rash, so looking at the last uh, couple of lessons, we looked at Kori Shahad Kalach or Kori Shahad Kaltach, depending on your depending on your um, depending on your accent, sorry. <laughs> a little bit of a brain freeze there. But what we're looking at is fjarst, and these would be as you describe people in your family or perhaps your friends. And we've looked at some of these words already, but let's look at them again. The guy for lovely. Lugh. Lugh. Kor. Kor. Snok. Snok. Gasta. Gasta. Gleek. Gleek. Mughal. Mughal. Bear. Bear. Cardial, cardial, me vogel, me vogel, mossoch, mossoch, suerach, suerach, grounde, grounde, goroch, goroch, brackel, brackel, troll, troll. You can also look at Kawas or Kaltas. Bake. Bake. Meanoch. Meanoch. You can also use that with as an adjective modifier. Meanoch bake. Kind of averagely small, a little small. More. Big. More. Art or arst. Art. Arst. Tappy. Tappy. Raver. Raver. Cool. Cool. Tana. Tana. Book. Book. Larger. Larger. So you may want to uh, you pause the slide here and translate the following using the vocabulary that you've looked at so far up to this point. And join us for the answers after you've paused it. Falche Rash, Shaw in the Fregerstein. So, my Hjelloch, we're going to just read the profiles of the people in the picture and translate them. Uh, so, we'll read them out and then you can. Pause and translate. Sha Movar. She anna in tenem a hore. Hai trichet sinui pri on the egeus. Ha falt down fat ore. Agasa soul and down a ike. Hai loch maris trike. Ach urinen hai ferigoch. Sha Movar big. She nurs in tenem a heer. Hai keer pri on the egeus. Ha falt down garageer. Agasa lenya tea orangeer. Hi snog agus mugal. So here's your answers to that previous slide. Now counting people in Gaelic. In Gaelic you can count people in two ways. You can say, uh, but if you only have one builder, you just say ha brahar akam. Okay, you don't need to say ha un brahar akam. You just say ha brahar akam. Um, you can use the normal cardinal numbers where the plural doesn't begin properly until three. Eh, ha da vra ha akam, ha tri bra in akam. Uh, it's a bit like in ya yeah, that you don't want out there. But there's also a special set of numbers for counting people, and you can use them on their own or with the word for the set of people you're talking about. Although, unlike the cardinal numbers, the plural starts straight away at two, and eh, you have to win out. Uh, the Gaelic for two people is Jij Gene, so Dune, peoples, Jij Gene. And the Gaelic, instead of clown, you say Trur Honya, Trur Honya. So clown becomes Honya. So you can see that it's a little bit more complicated. Um, so if you do want to just stick with Davra or Tri Braden, um, you may. But it's worth knowing this set of letters, uh, numbers. So counting people in Gaelic, you will hear unan or uner uh, for one person, but 
it tends to you don't tend to, to do that because you usually have um, you see what it is. So but you'd have Gij, Gij, Gij Gunya, two people. But you could just say Gij, Hajij Al, there's two. Trur Trur Kerr Kerr Koeknir Koeknir Shiener Shiener Shachner Shachner Ochner Ochner Neuner Neuner Jechner Jechner And once you get to eleven it becomes a little bit uh, more conventional Unyachjig eleven one person on teen and dozenyach a dozen people dozen you tend to see dozen used to refer to twelve people you could say da da yug or da nyach jiug nyach being a person as opposed to a man um so that's it so we just go on again unan jij trur kerr koeknir shiener shachner ochner neuner jichtner So here's a little translation exercise for you. Kaviyad aha nagyeloch. How many are in your family? Remember that question. Kaviyad aha nagyeloch. And there's some examples of people. The little icons do, the little emojis will help you guide how many people are there. And here's your answers. Fregerstein. I have a little thing here. That's good. So initially, looking at those examples from the previous one, you might want to pause this. Um, you see, it's Misha Ruri Macroj, Aksa Koignor Namhelloch, Hapenakam, Aksa Trur Honya Akam, Mark Agusta Nian. So write a short piece stating your name and seeing how many people are in your family. Scrive Machelloch. Now, building on that previous slide, you might want to. Uh, you're going to write about a person as a member of your family. If you don't wish to write about a member of your family, you can write about a carriage, mo carriage, my friend. Uh, you can add this to the work you did earlier, talking about how many people if you want. So give some basic info about them, their name, their age, where they live, where they are from, their language skills, what they're like as a person and what they look like. So you're really um, extending from writing about yourself to writing about other people. So here's an example. We'll read it and then you can uh, use it to help base your own learning. Shaw Mahar, she ruari and tenemahir. Hai kerit bliane egeus. Hai a furuch ans neherig. Sain oost a tua a hai. Ha garlic a gisperla eke. Ha gama arst a gis hai bug and sabach. Ach hai glee loch. Ha fat du a gis ha fiasakir. Ha ben a gis trur honye eke. Now, if you'll forgive what's about to happen next, this is a pushed bail, a mouth music, a music from the mouth, pushed bail, called Habenakam Hatayakam. And it's going to show us a few little linguistic things that have appeared through this lesson and previous units. So it goes like this Habenakam Hatayakam Haltikown and Tayakam Hapun Jehiaben Galakam Smolain Yasawak ground Habenakam Hatayakam Haltikown and Tayakam Hapun Jehiaben Galakam Smolain Yasawak ground Jenimi Galen Yagan Galen Yagal Galen Yagan Jenimi Galen Yagan Smifala and Tayamaro Jenimi Galen Yagan Galen Yagal Galen Yagan Jenimi Galen Yagan Smifala and Tayamaro now we'll slow that one down. Goes ha benakam, ha tayakam, ha alt ikyam and tay akam, ha pun je hiaben gyal akam, sma lenye sawach grande. Je ni mi gun lenye ran, gun lenye gyal, gun lenye ran. Je ni mi gun lenye ran, smi falav untui imaro. So you can listen to that back if you wish, practice seeing it. But we're going to look at a few push the bail. So, habenakam, hatayakam, push the bail. Language points. So, habenakam, I have a wife. Hatayakam, I have a home. Ha'alt e kyun in tui akam. So, alt is the Gaelic for a stream. Kyun in tui, the end of the house. Tui, there's an apostrophe shows that an e is missing. Ha'poon ye hiaben gyal akam. I have a pound of white soap. If you notice that the ye off there makes the s in heaben disappear. Sheaben comes heaben. 
And uh, if you look there, mo lene, even though it's mo lene, instead of lene, it we don't put it into writing. Mo lene salak around there. Jini mi gun lene gan, gun lene yao. So gun is without, but it usually nights, but of course lene starts with an L. And jini mi, what will I do? Jini mi, what will I do? Well, what you will do now uh, is worth learning. Abenakam Hatayakam, that's a little push the beal. You'll find a lot better uh, versions of it on the internet than this one. <laughs> but what you're going to do now is just going to look very briefly at the other uh, possessive pronouns, those being our, your, and their, your plural, of course. For the plurals, ar, ur, an, lenition does not happen, but there are various different things which happen otherwise. So if you look there at our, armahar, Ar nahar, ar brahar, ar puer, ar shinar, ar shinar. Ur mahar, ur nahar, ur brahar, ur puer, ur shinar, ur shinar. And there, now if you notice here, there's a few differences. Ur mahar, ur nahar, ur brahar, ur puer, ur shinar, ur shinar. And you'll notice that ar and ur will put an N before vowels and un changes to um before vowel, uh, words beginning b p f or m b p f m. So, in closing, uh, the final way to do this is a very famous piece of literature is the Lord's Prayer uh, Our Father who art in heaven, how would be thy name, so on and so forth. And it's quite well known by a lot of people in various languages. And if you look here, there's quite a few examples of how uh, do uh, works with various letters and also how ar works as well. You'll notice it's a nahar, a nyev, gunyevich a danam, higig de riach, janar de hul, erin talu, marinir, erin nyev, torgain in ju, a narin, lyal, agus magain, ar fiachan, avon evashin, da roch fiach, agus nelig, anon boerichin, axurshin o ork, or as Latsa in the Yach, and Cousin Kuach, Agus Agor, Kushiari. Amen. So you'll see throughout the Lord's Prayer a few uh, ways in which Do becomes D, does it at night in certain places, and also you'll notice how Ar becomes Ar Nahar or Ar Fiachan when it doesn't at night, but it does change when used with vowels. So in closing for this lesson online, Tap a life.